Kain disit na. Salamat po. I have here with me two pages. Happy anniversary to VACC and Mabuhay. Now we go home. <laughs> two pages lang. I can finish this about a minute and a half. Tapos uh, yun na. But it will not do justice to the victim, and that is the Filipino. Yung sa gobyerno, sa graph, the incompetence, at siya yung crime. Alam mo sa totoo, nandito man si Director Santiago, he used to be the PDA, is now the chairman of the board to Philippine Drugs. So I reappointed him because he is more than capable of handling the job. He was doing good, and uh, I hope that he would do better. Yung namatay daw kanina sa Bulacan 32, in a massive raid. Ganda yun. Makapatay lang tayo ng another 32 every day, then maybe we could reduce the, what is this country. Ayon lang kasi maniwala ng mga tao. Well, hindi yung, yung ano yung the well, of course we are all bleeding hearts here because most of our, most of you are really victims of uh, crime and criminality and uh, extreme negligence. Ah, uh, inuna ko yung droga. Uh, because that I will stop drugs with uh, the problem itself in about three to six months. And I was talking uh, with the background of what my experience was when I was the mayor of Dabao City. Sa awa ng sa Dabao, still not perfect, but you uh, droga pati, you know? everybody behaves. And because it is not that I directed them to behave or impose rules that are, they wanted it to be that way because alam na nila nga mas maganda ang disciplinado na isang lugar. Let me just uh, just give you a story. Yung si Albuera Mayor Espinosa was learning it over doon sa Albuera late. At walang election doon, pinapatay. At uh, pati pulis na ayaw sumunod sa kanya, pinapatay. About six. Walang no political expression there. No political free will to choose the leaders na gusto nilang magpatakbo ng bayan nila. At yung mga kalaban, pinapatay, inaambos. Doon naman si Parahinog, almost two decades, walang magsalita doon pare, and you can buy shabu. Uh, Diyan sa sari-sari, hindi ka nga over the counter. But it's freely sold. But, uh, I have observed him closely dito. At yung si mga general luot ng pulis, si yung ibang high profile, masyadong kalma. And, uh, you know, like luot general. And, I think it was a PIM mayor, if I am correct. We paid for his training as a soldier. We paid for his clothing and food. And this idiot 
upon his retirement, goes into drugs and makes money. Uh, ayaw ninyo kasing maniwala. I'm addressing not you. Lalo na mga human rights. That drug was eating our country. But if you do not do anything drastic, si Duterte, walang ano, drugs palagi. Ay, iyan ang problema. Kaya tayo nakikita-kita dito. Nga ngayon, kita mo, 32 kanina daw sa Bulacan. It's really a problem. It takes a toll on the lives of people, whether you are really the victim or the criminal. Walang katapusan ito. And when I said that I could solve it, I was referring to an environment na ako yung mayor na parang dabaw itong Pilipinas. Anak ka ng, maghanap ka na kung anong sinong yung nanay na yan. Anak ng, hindi ko alam na yung polis na kasama ko dapat nandoon mga generals. And little did I realize that the very agency I was relying on to protect us from the smuggling of drugs from abroad, yung palang ang nag import rin ng drugs. So, hey, how can I finish it? I will cut. Hindi ko matatapos to. Then I realized, ano yung Amerika ng Amerika, with all its power, and, hindi kaya. Nga hanggang yung problema nila, Eh, kung hindi kaya ng Amerika, mas lalo na itong Pilipinas ngayon kung... So, I will be able to solve the problem. Patahin ko lang yan lahat. But about the next generation? At ito talagang magwala ako. Many, you can prosecute me after or now, whatever. You can assassinate me. But it do not really help. Unless we are all of sa like persuasion na tapusin talaga natin ito for the next generation. Yung mga gunggong dyan, mga sinasabi na hindi kaya, ang sabi, ay, hindi pala niya kaya. Kung kayo ilagay dito sa lugar ko, eh ako mismo ang nag-uutos ng patayan. Hindi ko nga kaya kayo pang mga... Huwag na tayong magdrama dito. You will be far worse than what you have now. So, isang ano ko, kasi bakit ako tumakbo? You were around. Sino ang kandidato sa amin mentioning about Mindanao? Wala. Wala. Ang mga bagwan, improving education, ang favorite refrain is, uh, will improve the roads, and, Tingnan mo, what can a narco politic do to his city? Two decades, no election, no opponent. Pag pumunta ka doon sa Usamis noon, pati sa Albuera, you will exactly experience what you would have seen had you been to South America. Parehong pareho. Dalaki yung mga politiko dyan, may baril dito, may bodyguard na polis, may bodyguard na military, at may bodyguard yung kuratong baliling. So, ding no. It, 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 mabuti na lang, it destroyed some parts, but there are many of them in Mindanao. And I called all the mayors of the Philippines here, dito. Marami sila tatlong bats ang governors. Isa lang, isang kwarto lang sila. Sabi ko talaga sa kanila, do not, I will kill you. I will kill you because you are destroying my country. Do not destroy the young of the Filipino because yun ang aming kayamanan. Lalo na kami sa taga-guberno, itong mga polis na to, pati sino dyan, 
Wala kami ang kayamanan. Ako wala akong negosyo. I started very early as a prosecutor. Now, the reason why, you would see now how, how, how I hate criminals. Marami akong kaso ang bumagsak dahil lang sa pera. Marami akong bumagsak na kaso noon when I was presented the evidence, supposedly drugs turned out to be alum tawas. Yung pinapalitan nun, hindi corruption. Ayoko na lang, kung ko si karamihan kasi nung kasama kong mga fiscal, halos patay na. Ako lang ang nabuhay kasi ako siguro yung papatay pa ng iba. <laughs> Trabahong ito eh. Paano ko matapos kung ganun? Masa likod ko sabi ko, oh, we all uh, shout in unison, stop drugs. Hindi ko ng mga police ngayon. Sana yung, ah, ito. This is an updated uh, as of August 8, 2017. If this is a Bible, I will, I will, so I will make a, a solemn oath. Matrabaho ito ng police na walang, walang ano dito kalupo. So nandito, so how can you stop Ang listahan ito po region ganito rin, oh. Hmm. Every page, Western, Isayas, oh, Mayor dyan na, sabi niya malinis daw siya. Pero walang mahay. Kasi sinabi ko talaga, do not do, oh, mahay is huwag kang, huwag kang sisihin. So, na late ako sa kausap ko ang mga ram. At kami ni Dante had a short. It's getting out of hand. Gusto kong i-control ang corruption. Kayong mga abogado, how? May transaction tayo dito na malinis. Yung natalo, mara itong, itong Manila dapat sunugin ito, isali na ang tao dito. Dito, magdigusyo sila. They participate in biddings. Tapos pag natalo sila, all they have to do is hanap buhay. They go to court. Kurap naman yung huwes kasi sinabi ko, bantay ko sa akin. Mag-issue ng TRO. So the project cannot proceed immediately. So yung nanalo naman sa bidding, just to start, we'll have to talk to the guy who filed or who sued him. So, bigyan mo ako ng... Ganon ang racket dito sa Maynila. Yung lowest bid is the source of all graft and trouble dito sa corruption. Kasi yung lowest bid, walang pera yan. And he will dive and bid for the lowest price. Pag na-award na yung bid niya, he will go to another subcontractor. Sabi niya, o oh, sige, ikaw na, bigyan mo ako. Tapos doon, yung city or provincial engineer, tapos yung checker, auditor, treasurer, governor, mayor. Oh. So yung 100 million mo na project, purti lang yan. Kaya no nagkampanya ako the presidency, I toured uh, almost all of the provinces and cities. Diyan ang makita ng basketball court ng tag 200 meters, 300 meters. Wala namang basketball court na ganun. Kasi may goal eh, maraming goal. Kaya ko bakit itong, bakit mataas itong, kasi nilalanding ko yung helicopter doon. Sabi nila, mayor, hindi man ito basketball court. Yung runway man ito. <laughs> Tapos tignan ko doon, pagbalik ko, yung mayor na ako, magbalik ako minsan, titignan ko. Tapos na. Pati yung terminal. 
Wala lang pasahero, walang eroplano kasi basketball court pa lang. Alam mo something mas uh, uh, I don't want to do it but uh, uh, I, 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 I would say that I'm not so much interested in five years of completion. I hope there will be a spasm somewhere. Then, uh, hindi mo madala ng ano, kasi yung due process na yan, alam natin na. Due process, you know, means uh, ten, sa 10 years. Ang kaso sa Pilipinas could reach 5, 10, 20 years. Yung sabi mo na victims of injustice, kung wala talaga ang ano dyan, you will uh, suffer the injustice. You will have to live with it and die with it. Ganon ang, ganon ka ano ang Pilipinas. Uh, hanggang dyan lang tayo. Ganon itong sitwasyon. Traffic. So, Duterte, nandiyan yung traffic. O, oh, so ninyo ang improve ko give me money i need i need money to 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 whatever to destroy there and ba- magbago uh, emergency fund sabi nila baka makorap hindi ibigay adi wag so ang init sa ganoon pa rin tanungin niyo ako how can i improve it with the money so I'm waiting for China and Japan to do us the favor, uh, and uh, maybe they would start next year, I hope, to improve on the things that we do not spend. Kasi wala man tayo ng ganong pera. Eh, ganun lang ang kita ng Pilipinas. What do you expect of me? I cannot print the money to pay the wages of the laborers. And where do I find the money to buy all those expensive things? Ganyan talaga. No? Tama si yung rant uh, ni ano, Dante. Lahat. Dito may judges. Hinuli ko kay para ihuli sila pat- patayin. Hintayin na lang yung ano nila. As you can see from a distance, judges. So many judges na mamatay. Ano mo? Ay mo ko. Gobyerno to? Hindi. Uh, do that, do that. Magalit ang, ang human rights. Pati itong si Ulol na Mestizo, itong si Gascon. Mas marunong pa sa iyo. And they make so much noise. Well, what about the human rights? Hanggang rekomendasyon na nila. They can write anything. Condemn the police, condemn everybody. Ang pagdating ng rekomendasyon, wala naman. Uh, so everything seems to be not functioning well. As we citizens envision it to be. Ang drugs talaga. Alam mo kasi ang drugs. Two months operation, bilyonaryo ka na. Kaya marami talagang ayo, si General Santiago. Alam niya yan. I- ilan sila dito? Almost practically all the municipal mayors ng Pilipinas. That is why I said during uh, our uh, caucus with uh, to the congressman, Sabi ko, bahala kayo, mga senador. But I'm telling you, if you call for a barangay election now, the drug people will win. May pera sila, bilihin nila, at ang mga municipal mayors na talagang into it will begin to produce, produce more uh, shabu so that they can sa international seas, meron naman dyan yung ibang countries, they are cooking shabu, place them in a plastic uh, cans, sealed, 
lagyan nila ng GPS. Kunin dito ng mga smugglers, kaya makita mo regions 1, 2, and 3, marami nakikita yung blue pail, parang... Tapos yun. Ang laman dyan, Shabu. Marami ang nagkalat dyan sa coastal waters dito sa regions 1, 2, and 3, and sometimes 4. They, 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 they cook it dyan. Yun, pareho sa Amerika. Ito mga simple ton, make a statement na just to really destroy the person. Eh, hindi niya kaya yan. Akala ko ba six months sa one year? Anong hindi kaya? Patayin mo naman, tignan mo. I think there will be an outcry again na itong 30 ton na patay kanina in a mass uh, uh, joint operations by, I think it's all. And they would grieve again for justice. Eh, kung kayong mga drugista, you do not observe justice, you destroy the people. Ang order po naman sa military, hindi naman specific. Eh. I never said you killed uh, Mr. Aguirre. Ay, ang order ko sa kanila is you destroy the apparatus. And it is my order to Jonas Santiago. Destroy the apparatus. Ngayon, pag namatay ka, pasensya ka. Pumasok ka dyan eh. You are not specifically being hunted. O kanina, I'm sure na yung wala namang giplinano yung ano na namang makuha ng polis dyan. Kaso lang. And that is why, noong ito, manam, bakit ngayon? Itong human rights, bakit marami? Kasi ang polis nagtatrabaho. Alam mo bakit? Kasi protektado sila sa panahon ko. Binibigyan ko ng pera ng polis. Totoo yan. We're trying to stop drug trafficking. Ang polis, pag binigyan mo ng pera yan, gamitin yung pera pambili, that money, mark money, becomes the property of the case filed. It can no longer be retrieved. Can every meeting noon sa Daba, binibigyan ko talaga yan, o oh, pambili, kasi because if there is no buying and selling of drugs, it is not trafficking. And kung maliit lang, kasi ang mga runner man nila ang magtakbo, it's just possession. Pagka-possession lang. <laughs> May pera yan sila. Out tomorrow or the day after, nakabail na yan. That is the story. Yung iba naman, pagdating doon, sabihin lang doon sa prosecutors na i-downgrade mo lang, sabihin na lang possession, tapos may plea bargaining. May mga judges naman na pumapayag because of corruption. May isang judge nga dito sa Maynila, not a single case of, walang conviction. Mga 1,000, walang conviction. Nang yun itong huwes na to. Ayan ang sitwasyon talaga. Nga sabi, hindi pala kaya ni Duterte. Hindi ko talaga kaya. Mismo yung customs po, po, pumupuslit sa likod ko. At kaya mo yan. Iyon na yung customs, ha? But file doon, I will stand by him. He's really honest. Kaya lang, nalos sa tansya, because lahat dyan sa customs, corrupt. My God, I, I hope I would not offend any particular person, but almost all, sila yung magagandang bahay, mga BIR, magagandang bahay, magagandang kotse, asar pa yung mga director-director. Yung mga director ng Bureau of Lands, wala yan. Kusina lang yung mga director ng... I, I can't... Sino yung bahay na yan? Ngayon, Dabao, sarado na. Yung... Uh, tapos ako nang katuloy yung 200 billion... billion Kaya ko kaya silang babuyin? 
Sabihin ko harap-harapan, putang ina kayo. Let's say kayo. Kayo yung mga ruling elite dito sa Pilipinas nakikinabang sa putang inang government ko. You get contracts, you get grants, tax exemption and all. Mababoy ko ka isang stasyon, sabi ko putang ina ka, mukha ka, mukhang pera ka. Kaya ko kaya sila ganunin. Nasabi nila, ako, sige, hanapin ninyo. Kalkaking Central Bank, pati lahat ng bank, rural bank. Kaya ko kayong baboyin kasi wala kayong makuha sa akin. Ang pinaka-issue ninyo sa akin, sige lang, babae, babae. Hindi eh, kung walang lalaki, paano na yung mga babae dyan? Ha? Sabi ko nga sa, during the debate, I was asked point blank, by I, 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 I cannot remember who. So, and, uh, you have known to have so many girls uh, at different times, uh, different women. So, may answer nga. Bawa yung nagtanong. It's biology. Bio, ano? Simple biology. It's an instinct actually. Ang pare lang naman nagsabi niya, may kasalanan niyang ano, binigyan ka ng... Ay, ah, wala rin ako sa asawa ko. Alang-alang magguy ako doon sa amin, ako mag-isa, tapos namartiliyuhin ko yung ano. <laughs> Ngayon naman, huwag lang tayo magpakurnihan yung prim and proper. I'm not into it kasi... Hindi kaya, hindi ako makaprang kaya. Huwag oh, kayong mga... Tapos nga, maghingi kayo ng ariglo. Ariglo, <laughs> you are great Filipino people. You return the property. May sabi ko, I agree, get it as soon as... Uh, lahat, lahat yung isa uli ninyo yung propiedad ng tao. Pay your correct taxes and return all the properties of the people. Kung yung sunbar na yan, I'm selling it, uh, bidding yan. You want that piece of property, I'm putting your notice. I'm selling that so that I can build more houses for the, for the soldiers. Uh. Kasi yung iba doon, kinuha naman ang kadamay. So sabi ng mga sundalo, sir, paano to yung bahay? Ay, so, Pilipino rin yan, pareho ninyo. Pareho lang tayo. Sabi ko, gawa na lang kayo ng, huwag na kayong, uh, no hotheads yun. I'll, 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 uh, I'll endeavor to look for the money and build you another one. Huwag mo nang awayan yan si Kadamay. Kay Kadamay rin yun yan, sa, sa totoo lang, Kadamay rin yun yan sa kahirapan. Kaya mo na, bigay mo lang sa kanila. Na itong Marawi, Marawi, what precipitated the fight in Marawi? How did it start? Did it start by an outright rebellion? Of course not. They were there, the police were there to serve a warrant then there was a fight, and I, we were thinking, alam namin na maraming armas, but ang hindi namin nakuha na underground, puro na pala. Kita mo hanggang ngayon may bala? For three months na tayo nag-away? Parang Vietcong, eh, doon sa ano, mga tunnel. Eh. So ako, ako yung nag-declare ng Marcelo, ako yung nagsabi doon kila, General Esperon, you send the soldiers there. And so they are dying. Eh, hindi naman ako guilty kasi I'm doing it for the Republic, for our country. But the problem is, hindi um, ko malunok yung... I, I, I lose every day at least two, three, four soldiers, but the police. Kaya ako, I was offended. Nung tinanong si President Aquino, I'd like to repeat this all over again, kasi totoo eh. He was asked, uh, how, how do you find the fight against uh, drugs? Sabi naman niya, walang nangyari. 
Walang nangyari. Yung the whole of six years mo, yung whole mo sa drugs, is just equivalent to my what's now one year. At saka huwag kang magsalita ng ganun. Kasi marami na akong polis, pati sundalo na matay. Minsan ginuod akin. Kasi hindi naman gagano'n yan. You know, the president is the commander-in-chief of all armed forces. So hindi yan sila basta magagalaw kung wala kang sabihin mo na specific order na. Kasi una ito, kasi marami na akong polis, pati sundalong na matay. Kaya yung Marawi, walang areglo na yan. Cannot be. Sabi ko sa mga mayors, wala na silang police power ngayon, isauli ko lang yan. Kung matapos na ang gera at sabihin ng police, pati military, mayor, okay na. But kung pagbalik ko niyan, kung kayo, you cannot control drugs in your city. Tanggalan kita, I might just go outright suspend you. So that's my next move. So marami na naman ang korte, awa yan. I-TRO na naman ako ng mga wis. Kaya sabihin ko sa wis, kaya mo? Kasi kung kaya mo, sige. Otherwise, itong mga inutil na polis, uh, itong uh, kasali na. Mga mayors, you have the authority over the police. If you cannot control drugs in your city, I will just suspend you. Magbakas doon ka na lang. Wala ba na kanilang silbi? So I will not return the police power to you. Wala, pakialam sa inyo. Yan ang, that's a really sad story. I'm just articulating a little bit what was halos emotional si Dante dyan. Kasi lahat, yung si Ibanghilista. Yung member nila na yung nag nag magbili ng kutsi tapos sa kasa, denied ng anak niya just to show the, para patignan nga okay yun, tapos kinidnap ng mga ulol, pinatay pa si Nunog. I could still remember sa TV. Sabi ko sa kanya, hindi ba, there will be always a time. There will be a time to commit wrong and there will be a time for retribution. Sigurado yan. Uh, dito mag... <laughs> Druga. Hindi na nila naisip yan. Alam mo yung likor. Pagka naglikor, ang sunod niyan, druga. Kombinasyon yan. They will always, pagka nakahit yan, maghanap talaga ng alkohol yan. Ito yan, sa bulakan. Pati yung one-year-old, pinapakialam ako. Ang nakalain niya, nirape na yung biudap, nirape na yung, uh, yung nanay na bulag. Pinag, pinagsasaksak pa yung... Tapos yung human rights ngayon is investigating. One of these days kayong human rights, kayo ang investigahin ko. Ito. Conspiracy. You know, when you... Uh, but, but, eh, lang yung, may, uh, puli, but, barilin mo na yung kasali dyan. If they are obstructing justice, you shoot them. Para makita talaga yung anong klase yung human rights. Galit ako sa inyo. Because hindi nyo tinitimpla kung anong klase yung papasukan ninyo. Basta human rights. Eh, yung ilang biktima na dito. Yung lima na namatay. Ano pa? Yung, yung one-year-old na ginulgol doon. Yung human rights yan, nasaan? He could not even utter it in public. No, no, look, do not do that to me. I'll be human rights. Wala. Tapos itong mga kriminal, babandera ka, human rights, ano. Kaya ito, uwi na ako. Uwi pa ang dabaw eh. I have to go to somewhere else sa Mindanao. Ganito yan eh. Straight straight na lang tayo. There are judges here, prosecutors, the public, maybe some of the members of the Supreme Court, ombudsman, ganito. Gaya nitong 
si Elbuera. Sabi ni, ito to, prangkahan tayo. Nandiyan yung mga cabinet member. Sabi ni Secretary Aguirre, Justice Department. Hindi, hindi na ako nakakialam. Sabi niya, murder to, Mr. President. Sige, sige. Wala ka. Ano, ano, wala ka, wala akong pakialam. Sabi niya, maipile. Oo, oh, i-upile the guys. Ngayon, ang downgrade, homicide na lang. Yung mga police naman, yung nagtrabaho, wala naman silang ninakaw doon. Na demanda. Diba sinabi ko na, I will protect you sa trabaho. Ngayon, ang sabi ninyo, pagpasok ninyo doon sa jail, si Albuera, Mayor, Espinosa, may baril. Doon ako maniwala sa polis kasi yan ang sub subordinates ko lahat yan. Bakit ako maniwala doon sa mga testigos na it was a rub out? Puro laker. Yun ang istorya mo. Yun istorya namin dito sa gobyerno. Sabi ko, i-convict mo yan? Ano problem? Sabi naman, baka masintensyahan. Oo, oh, gina. May card ako dito. The Constitution itself. Uh, the president shall have the power to pardon a criminal whether absolute or conditional or grant amnesty with the concurrence of Congress. Sige, ubusin mo yung proseso lahat yan. Pagdating ng panahon, sir, convicted kami. Sige. Kailan ang bumulong yun? Baka buka, sir. Pardon, gawa ka ng pardon yan. Daling ko sa polis, oh. Pagkatapos niya nga, uh, you are here by, uh, isa pa kayo itong polis banta kayo. You are uh, sentenced to reclusion perpetua. Life in perpetua. Kumandali yan. Pagkatapos, sabihin ko sa clerk ko court, basahin mo yan, ha? Sabihin mo yung pabasa. And here is an order also from the office of the president. Pardon is if I granted to the following corporal the general and they are restored to full political and civil rights and thereby promoted ne next rank higher. <laughs> what, what could be the charges? Impeachment? Ulul ka ba? Not just uh, constitution. That's the sole privilege of a... Well, ang sabi, maraming mag-revolt yung mga... May amnesty ko yan. Huwag na, mag-revolt, revolt dyan. May amnesty ko na kayo para tapos na. Kasi, alam mo, wala kaming power. If I do not have that, or if I do not threaten to use it, binubugbog kami, media. And you are portrayed to be the worst. Mayroong editorial, mga ganon, ganon, ganon. Pig, or picture to be the worst. Mga krim, kagaya ng acquirer. Kung magpicture kay sa editorial, parang kalahat kami kawatan. Kayo yung putang inang nakatira dyan sa gobyerno, 50 years, walang extension. And you, you know what's the crime? 50 years na kinabang kayo. Then, it expired, no extension. Tapos, you never paid government on taxes. And then you collected dyan sa Mylon. Alam mo kung ano yan? Pareho yan kay my taking. Magpay ka ng stamp. That is economic sabotage. Pag yan ang pinahil ni Aguirre sa inyo, pasok kayong lahat. Kasama kayo ni Dilima, no bail yan. Kayong mga tax, yung mga evader ng taxes, I will not file a civil collection. Kung hindi na ako interesado sa pera ni Nakao mo, I'd be happy to see you there. Sakrami. File ko sa inyo. Economic sabotage. 
that is done available. Ganoon lang yan. Basta kami na lang uh, we're portrayed to be in the worst of it takes two to play this game in the world, in this life. Kaya baski ganoon lang yan si Erap. He's a sage. Talagang wise. Dito sa buhay na ito, weather, weather lang. Huwag ka talagang magkumpiyansa na hanggang dyan ka na na nobody will. I know I will have my own downfall. I cannot be president forever. I know that they will demand to answer for all of this patay. O di okay lang. Kung ako ang manobil, o di. Basta gusto ko ilapit ako doon sa kwarto ni Dilima. <laughs> Nakita ko man yung ano niya. Sabi niya, nagpiping tam daw ako. Ikaw ang ipiping tam ko? Hindi na ako kailangan. Manood lang ako ng video, may kopya ako. Bakit ipiping tam kita? Ang sabi niya, senyos, nagkupunta rin ako. I was there because it was the anniversary of the police. And as I was invited to talk there, nung pumunta ako doon sa equipment na ano, yung sensitive, mataas yan eh. Sa so, top of the building, ano ba di sa louder? But I, I sabi ko, manood ako, how the does it work? Yung pinag-usapan natin sa cabinet, ipinag-bilin ko because uh, there's no need, I will, I will approve it. Tapos nagpiping tam. Piping tam? Piping tam? Baski saan ako magpunta, nandoon nandoon yung video mo, Piping Tam. Gaging. Ako nandoon, ako payag ako. Sabihin ko lang sa polis, kaya kaibigan man kami. Okay, labas mo yung kamay mo. Okay, maghawakan tayo, handshake. So that's, uh, I, I'm just saying that uh, the, 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 this, this, this uh, government is not totally bereft of any, you know, measures that uh, we can. Tabla, tabla tayo. Dito yung abulin ninyo. Dito itong mga polis na lukulukong kidnapping po. Yan ang may tama. Yan sabi ko, pati polis patay. Huwag na yung donut. Klaseng polis yan. Hindi mo yan. Dapat polis. Wala dapat yan dyan. Marami talaga rin napasok ng mga ulul. Yan mga kidnapping. Sabi ko kay Dilorosa. Sumari dismissal. Bantayan ninyo yan. Pag wala na trabaho, baka yan mong... Yan ang next generation naman ng mga mag-hold up. Druga. Bantay kayo. Polisness. Puro polisness lang. Kagawa. We all behave here. Kasi pag wala na, wala na tayong ano, eh, kanya-kanya na kayo. Mahirap yan. Mahirap yan. Napatay. <laughs> Please stop that nonsense. So yan ako. Ano, hindi naman kami ano. Pero kung yung sabi ni Dante kanya, kaya kami natagal. Ano, was with the relatives and widows as support before. Of course, it is a stupid charge. Because it's a don't want corruption. Well, I don't corruption, don't it? Well, sir, what in the sense that you created a prejudice to somebody, something, something like that. But you lose your position of authority. You are a police now. You are there to arrest. Ganon, ganon yun yun. As commander in chief of all the armed forces. Ang local official supervision lang ang presidente. Pero sa national government structure, mga cabinet, I have the complete supervision and control. What does control mean? Control is I can super, I can change, amend, or sub, superimpose something there na. Kaya yung pinayal ng ombudsman na yung supervision of authority. Kasi na trabaho ng polis. Trabaho ng polis, well, trabaho ng presidente yan. Akin yan. 
particular job doesn't mean to say na kung ako ang mag-supervise. May inagaw ako. Wala akong inagaw. Ako yung commander-in-chief ninyo. So how can the case prosper? Ay, marami tayong abogado dito. How can I? Usurpation of authority. O what? The police? I cannot usurp my own power. That is mine. The commander-in-chief of all armed forces. Sunod kayong lahat. So, yun ang, yun ang sinasabi niya. Ako sinasabi ko lang, anong ibig sabihin niya? Ang ibig sabihin ko, matagal na ako dito, sige salita, mag-uwi na tayo. Magpasalamat ako for listening to my ranting also. But galit rin ako. But with God's help. Uh, bale. Kasi death certificate na yan balang araw. <laughs> Maraming salamat po. <laughs>